Okay, so today I had to go to CVS to get a prescription filled because I accidentally touched another sawtooth blackberry bush, which has Urshel oil in it, like poison oak, poison ivy. And apparently since the first scar over here on this side is still trying to heal, I need to have attention on it pretty quick with my lymphedema. So moving forward very quickly, I'm standing in line at CVS and waiting for my prescriptions, go up to them, ask them if they can put them up front so I don't pick them up tomorrow. Front counter desk person came over and she said, okay, I pushed them up there to the front so they can get fixed. I said, I appreciate it. I'll walk around the store one more time and see when my phone dings and says it's time to come in. So I walk around the store and I pick up a Easter basket because it's like 75% off, so you gotta pick it up. And then a couple things of lotion because I know this is gonna be tiresome and it'll be help. And it was really cool because there was a coupon on one of them for a dollar off. So I was like, okay, no big deal. I take those three items, I go up to the CVS pharmacist counter to pay for my two prescriptions and these items and pick up another prescription for my husband. So it's like, not a big deal. Girl's got it down, she's working on it. She gets to the lotion. This little coupon right here introduced me to my first Karen in the wild. CVS Karen. Paula, the cashier, was trying to peel it open because Gold Bond Lotion has the best coupons that won't come off. And she was trying to peel it and she was trying to pull it apart so tight so that she could scam this coupon so I can get one whole dollar off. While Paula was opening up the coupon about third attempt, maybe 45 seconds in, the Karen in the wild does. <sighs> the thought bubbles in my head were probably more overpowering to calm me down instead of turn around and tell her to act like a lady. I turned around and I said, I've been in this store waiting for my prescriptions for an hour. I picked up a couple bottles of lotion. Well, you should have bought them at the front counter because that's where that's supposed to be made. I'm not gonna degrade anybody, but she was definitely not nice. I don't know if she was in pain. I know I am. Uh, that's why I was waiting for the medication. You know, you wanna kind of rip and scratch your skin off at that point in time. So I politely finished and Paula looked at me and she said, oh, what do you want to do about your coupon? I said, just put it in the bag. I'll use it later. And she went, okay. She said, sorry about that. I said, don't worry about it. So didn't turn around, paid for my thing, had her scan my little extra card. We're good. Thank you very much. She hands me everything, asked me if I wanted to put that Easter basket in a bag. I put, carried it and the lady behind me, has got her head down. Trying to bite my California tongue was difficult, but I did turn around with my Georgia Southerness that I have earned and deserved so southly and said, ma'am, you have a blessed day and walked away. She didn't return with anything. She didn't apologize for anything. She didn't say anything. She didn't even acknowledge my existence. But I did walk up front to the girls at the counter and ask them if they could lower the temperature in the back because there was one lady that was on fire and she definitely needed an attitude adjustment. The lady so kindly said, well, why didn't you just tell her to bless her heart? <laughs> she didn't even deserve a bless her heart. I just told her to have a blessed day. That was all she was getting from me. I get home, I tell my husband, I said, it's all over this coupon for Gold Bond Lotion that you wanted. He said, oh my God, you just met a Karen in the wild. That is it. You met a CVS Karen. So here's my video to CVS Karen, LaGrange, Georgia. Bless your heart.